Hi guys, so this is a what I got for Christmas haul. Last year I did a little bit differently. I did, but you guys really seem to like it. Um, but I did like, I had a clip of me, Joe, and his cousin Tori because she did Christmas with us. And it was us sitting by the tree unwrapping our presents in like fast mode with a Christmas song. And then it cuts to me showing you guys a haul. I actually filmed a whole separate video of Christmas morning with Joe. It's going to be a vlog on my channel. It's probably going to be posted before this because I already have it scheduled for for Friday um and then so you're gonna see a little bit of the same stuff in here but this but that Christmas morning vlog was literally just what me and Joe gave each other so you guys are gonna see the stuff that Joe gave me here again in this haul but I'm also gonna show you what my mom gave me what my brother and his girlfriend gave me so this goes this is gonna be a bigger version of that um but I know you guys really liked seeing like me and Joe Christmas morning and you guys really liked seeing the what I got for Christmas haul let me start this with this is not me showing off in any shape way or form because that's why some people stay away from these hauls because you don't want to look like you're showing off and I'm not um you know just want to share it with you guys I share hauls with you guys all the time in my life I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas so let me show the stuff Joe gave me first since you guys already kind of saw that in a video um Joe gave me many books um I had a whole Amazon wish list of books, and Joe went out and bought me them. Oh, that's okay. There was a reason why I put off doing this haul for a little bit. I just remembered. And I was going to wait because one of my gifts was supposed to come in on Tuesday. I'm filming this on Wednesday after Christmas. Um, Joe did not order my gift in time. He got me the Marc Jacobs designer tote bag that I'm really excited about. That is like my big gift. Basically my only gift from him minus a few books. Um, you know, I totally did not expect him to get more than that bag because that bag's already expensive. And he was just going to get me the bag. And then he felt kind of bad because I wasn't going to have anything under the tree. So he ran to Barnes & Noble's last minute and got me some books off my Amazon with Wish list so i just went onto my amazon wish list earlier and removed the books he got me when you buy it on amazon it automatically removes them but obviously it wasn't going to ship in time so he went to the store with my amazon wish list so i just removed them the other day so i'm pretty sure majority of this yeah there's three colleen hoover books and two other authors here i have been obsessed with colleen hoover so i read it ends with us and i loved it so it starts with us is the sequel it came out and i want to say was it october or was it july no i think it was october my brother's girlfriend i think pre-ordered it in july that's why july's sticking out to me and it shipped to our house in october so this has been on my list i'm dying to continue the story with atlas if you guys have read it ends with us you know what i'm talking about um and Lily. So this is literally going to be one of the first books I read. I am so excited. So he got me a Starts With Us. He also got me Layla. Regretting You. Those are the three Colleen Hoover. Um, if you guys want more info on the books, let me know. I just I know the video is going to be a little bit longer, so I don't want to go super duper into it. Um, but Colleen Hoover is a great writer. Uh, she does really good with romance. She definitely has some books that have a little more like I don't know what word I want to look for they're not not thriller by any means but they're definitely not romance they have like more serious um topics um some have like abuse and stuff in them I think is Layla one of those or regretting you um oh this one does say an unexpected attack leaves Layla fighting for her life so this one's definitely not like a romance um this one getting married and pregnant too young she put her own dreams on hold Clara doesn't want to follow in her mother's footsteps uh, Morgan and Clara find it increasingly difficult to coexist. The only person to bring peace to the household is Chris, Morgan's husband, Clara's father. While struggling to rebuild everything that crashed around them, Morgan finds comfort in the last person she expects. Clara taunts to one boy she's been forbidden to see. So this one seems like a little bit more of a romance. It starts with us, definitely is. Um, it ends with us actually had a little bit of abuse in it. Um, so I don't want to ruin it, but yeah, I won't ruin it. I'll leave it at that. So I don't think this one's going to have abuse. It might go into some of a little bit of what happened in It Ends With Us. Okay. And then we read In a Holidays for our book club this month. And I loved Christina Lauren's writing. I went right onto my Amazon wish list. I added a few more of her books. This was one of them, The Soulmate Equation. There was actually a little expert. Is that what you call it? Ex, ex, I don't know. At the end of Hot... Um, holidays there was a few pages of one of the chapters and it was this book and I loved the little like chapter they gave us so I added this one to the list and my boyfriend grabbed it for me and then this one's been on my list for a while I do like Tessa Bailey and it's hook line and sinker which is definitely 
these are definitely romance books so those are the five books joe gave me and then i opened my stocking in that video and i did have a few little gifts for myself so i figured i would show them quickly and then i will show you my brother and his girlfriend's gift and my mom's gift i bought this really cute like travelable jewelry case from target this is definitely good to give as a gift especially if you're giving someone jewelry my brother's girlfriend did give bracelets to all my like I say baby cousins, but they're like mostly teens. It's like an eight-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 13-year-old. And she gave them each a smaller version of this, like half the size. And it's a perfect little gift to give if you're giving jewelry. But I love this for when I go like traveling. So it holds the rings, it holds necklaces, earrings. It has all these little compartments. It was on sale at Target. So I picked this up for myself and threw it in my stocking. Along with that, I did a five below haul and I showed you guys these Harry Potter stickers. You guys know I love stickers. I'm gonna see more stickers in a gift I got. And I love Harry Potter. So I treated myself to these two sticker books from five below. Um, and I also grabbed this Don't Worry Be Happy puzzle from Five Below. I've been loving the smiley face trend. And you're going to see some smiley face trend in my gifts. That is for sure. So I can't wait. I'm probably going to do that puzzle this winter. I, that's when I tend to do more like puzzles and activities like that. And an Amazon haul that actually went up today. Um, I showed you guys this. I, this is another way to hold your jewelry. This is perfect because you can clip it to your bag, your water bottle, your backpack. This was created by a teacher slash coach that went on Shark Tank. And basically, it's for you for, um, to travel every day versus this jewelry box that I showed you guys more for like trips if you're going on a trip. This is perfect. Like I am someone, I do not like to wear jewelry when I'm in the bathroom. I literally took off my jewelry. I put it in my pocket. I'm always scared I'm going to lose it. So now I could put my jewelry in here when I'm like going to the bathroom. Um, or if you, it, you this can hold any little thing. It doesn't have to be jewelry. It showed people using this to like store medications. If someone has to take medications. Uh, but I thought this was really, really cute. And basically it's called a lion lock, I think. Because once this carabinger which is what makes it like clippable for a keychain. Once it's on, you are unable to screw this. So no one can steal it um, unless they're able to fully get the clip off your bag, which, you know, you should, isn't obviously that could happen, but it makes it a little more difficult for them. And I think she made this because, like I said, she was a teacher, she was a coach. So, you know, a lot of the students, you know, after, if they were doing swim practice, they would take off their jewelry or track because you get like sweaty, whatever. So she found a way for people to like store their jewelry. And I do think it's smart too, if, like I said, if you know someone who takes medications. So I added this to my little stocking stuffer. Also from Amazon, this was on, um, it was either Cyber Monday or Black Friday. These little JBL speakers are, I want to say like 80 to $90. I I scored it for $40 on Cyber Monday. I got myself the pink. Again, it has a little clip. So these are perfect if you want to clip it to your beach bag, to your picnic basket. Perfect for like the backyard. So I treated myself to a little JBL speaker. And then another thing from Five Below that I just bought myself, I figured I would show you guys quickly. Oh, here's a little charger for that. Is um this cool water color canvas uh, it was only five dollars i like it because you don't have to keep rebuying canvases you don't have to keep rebuying paint basically you make any image with just water and then within three to ten minutes the image disappears it says it disappears depending on the saturation of your brush stroke and the dryness of the environment you can see how it's slowly fading and then boom you make another drawing this is just a cute little like artsy activity like i said um, when I'm feeling kind of creative and bored. So I figured I would grab that for myself. It's very relaxing. And you guys know I've been kind of stressed lately. So that's definitely going to help with that. And then I always get little like stocking, stocking little stuff first from Dollar Tree. So I grab myself some candy canes. I do every year. So I grab myself this Cold Stone giant candy cane. I grab myself the Funfetti birthday cake candy canes. And then I grab myself Nerds. But the... The, it's open right now i've been eating it <laughs> it's like i tell you guys all the time i buy this this lasts me like three four servings i already ate out of this twice but it's like the christmas specific one it's all like green red and white and then i was so excited i showed this in a doll tree haul i scored the friends lip balm which has been on my wish list for a while so i bought myself these and then i bought myself and this one's already out of the packaging because i've been using it it looks like little coffee cups and i ended up buying these for my brother's girlfriend because she is a huge friends fan and i put them in her gift basket i had bought two of each then she gave me a bis gift basket because she likes oh my god she likes doing gift baskets as well she bought the i saw this basket actually at uh target in the dollar spot section and she put a cute little tag and it says it was a lot prettier when she did it for me it says to taylor from Brandon, Brittany, and Ben. 
and she actually ended up giving me one of the chapsticks as well. I said, oh, great minds think alike. Um, and then, like I said, she knows I love friends. So she also got me this. I think it's so cute. It's basically a stress bowl. I can squeeze it. And she knows I've been stressed too. Um, but it's like the Central Perk coffee cup. So cute. So she got me this. And then I love Harry Potter as well. Harry Potter and Friends, uh, definitely like my favorite things. So I actually had these in my cart when I went Black Friday shopping with her at Target. But my cart was getting kind of full. I was like over the $100 mark. And I said, you know what, Tay, you don't need gifts for yourself. And I put these back and she saw that and she went back and got them for me, which I thought was really sweet. So we have Dobby here. And he's specifically, he's opening the book and he finds the sock that Draco Malfoy's father gives him, which means he is now a free elf, if you guys watch Harry Potter. And it even says, collect them all. And it shows Harry in his Quidditch uniform, Hermione, um, Dobby, and one of the professors. And then this one is just Harry Potter and he's in his Hogwarts uniform. And they have a whole collection with this one. Uh, Ron Weasley, Hermione, Dumbledore, Professor Snape. Lord Voldemort and Hagrid. So I have the original Harry Potter. So she was even saying how cute those would look on my bookshelf. I have a really cute Hogwarts Express light that I'm going to be adding to my bookshelf. Um, I officially undecorated it for Christmas and I'm going to redecorate it for like year round decoration. Um, so I will be showing you guys that if you guys want to check that out. And then she gave me a planner from Target. If it looks familiar, it's because I already own this planner. I had bought it for myself from Target. If you're watching this, Brittany, it's okay. Um, I'm going to give it to my mom. My mom was like, oh, I kind of need a little planner. So I was like, all right, I'll give it to you. So it says 2023. And I showed you guys this. I really liked that. Um, it has like a year at a glance. And then it has January birthdays, February birthdays. So you can write down every single birthday for family members and friends. And then it goes into the month and it's undated so you can date it yourself and then there's a little note section and then I liked it really because it says to do in notes and it really is going to help me stay organized and tracked and then you have a weekly view right here from Monday to Sunday so I'm going to give that to my mom and then I saw this merry and bright little um tin I thought that was so cute and when I opened it I fell in love it's a cute little sticker and it's Belle from Beauty and the Beast and she's reading a book and it says a book a day keeps reality away and I love that because when I read I definitely go into a whole nother world and I think that's one of the major reasons I love reading it is a stress relief for me it is self-care for me and then she knows I do book club and then I like to read so she got me these little note pals which are super cute and it's all different cats um so I can mark a page and write little notes if I need to and then she got me a bunch of stickers because you guys know I love stickers so she got me this book of stickers here it says it has 348 stickers it says eight sheets four different designs um and it shows the designs right back here so there's rainbows and there's letters lightning strikes hearts super cute um, there's something to say thank you, hello. So I love that. And then she gave me this really big book right here. It says the best sticker book ever, Good Vibes Edition. There is over 2,000 stickers in here. I am so excited. Um, and they look so cool. And I love like the happy vibes theme to them. Um, I love these. I was like flipping through them on Christmas and I was obsessed. So I'm so happy to receive this. And then she gave me bookmarks. So this is five different bookmarks. They're all Harry Potter themed. It shows all five back here. So you have one with Albus Dumbledore. You have one with Hagrid, one with Harry, um, one with Professor McGonagall, McGonagall, and one with Voldemort. Um, and they're super cute. So I'm going to add this to my bookmark collection. She also got me two really cute like notepads. Again, perfect for work, perfect for while I read for book club. And I love that they're shaped like little flowers. And they have a range of colors. And then she got me a really cute bracelet. We have like this thing in my family. We love sloths. We joke around that it's the um, spirit animal for our family. Me and my brother have always loved sloths. We're both very lazy people. Um, when we're outside of work, we bust our ass when we're at work. But when we're home, we're home to relax. And my brother especially. He works really hard. He works like 16-hour days. And my mom likes sloths too. So Pierre Vida was doing a little collection with a sloth. Uh, my mom has already been wearing her super cute so now that I show it to you guys I'm taking it off the packaging and definitely wear it I love it and I love Pure Vida bracelets I have a whole collection of them and then she got me two books so I have a Colleen Hoover All Your Perfects um, that has, that's been on my Amazon wish list. I just removed it. This one I have never heard of, but I do like the author. I've read other books, Ashley, Lucy Score. Um, and the book sounds really good. It's called, uh, Maggie Moves In, Moves On, I'm sorry. 
and it says house flipping sensation youtube star maggie nichols can't wait to dig into her new challenge um but then a man gets involved so i'm definitely curious to check it out i love good romance books so and then last but not least in the back and i love getting gift baskets then i can also reuse the basket was a harry potter coloring book i have one a different one so i'm really excited to have another one and i w i do color a lot in the winter and i love that there's some images in the back so if i want to frame them and then these are the images for me to color. And it's all different scenes from Harry Potter and different characters. Um, Joe's mom's side, I honestly got more like monies and gift card. Uh, gift cards to local restaurants. It was a lot of like, you know, couple gifts. Like something for me and Joe. Um, which makes sense, obviously. Uh, my mom gave me a gift card as well. But she always liked to include some presents. Because she knows I like opening presents. So she gave me a card. I thought the card itself was so cute. It's like a little wintry scene outside the window. And she gave me a $50 Visa gift card. Um, and then with this is the present I opened along with that gift card. So the first thing, I didn't even know these existed. I am so excited to have them. She got these for everybody. She got a pair for Joe. She got a pair for my brother's girlfriend. A pair for, I think she even got a pair for my grandmother. Like literally everyone got Croc slippers these year. I love Crocs. I did not know they had slippers. I was telling a friend of mine and she's like, oh, the ones with the fur inside, I have those. I said, no, I have those. I have fur lined Crocs. These do not have the plastic like a Croc. They are full on fabric slippers. She's like, wow, that's so cool. They are so lightweight. They are so comfortable. It literally just feels like you're wearing like a sock because some slippers can get kind of like heavy and bulky and clunky. These do not. They are so soft and furry inside. I love them. So she got that for almost everybody in the family and then i have a box here that i opened up and i will show you guys what's in here i was so excited to receive this you guys just saw a small business saturday that went up that's actually scheduled to go up tomorrow but when you're watching this that's already up i got a bunch of these cute cups when my mom ordered from another company smiley faces because she knows how much i love them i did get a smiley face one but it's one solid smiley face i don't have this one with all different smiley faces she got the same one for my brother's girlfriend because she also loves cups like this you guys know this is all the rage right now in here is the glass straw she put it in tissue paper and then when i opened it, i realized there was more gifts inside so let me show you those presents and that's everything guys other than my mark jacobs uh, tote bag that i am waiting for and like i said i did get like gift cards and money from joe's side but my mom got me this beautiful ring. She's been wearing it all the time. And I complimented it. And it's not real by any means. It's just a costume little jewelry ring that she got at Walmart, actually. But this is it right here. And it is absolutely beautiful. You can technically wear it both ways. Like, you can have the gem facing up. Or you can have the gem facing down. So it's kind of up to you. I do really like it like this. And that's probably how I'll wear it. And it's like a really pretty rose gold and i prefer fake jewelry honestly i'm always scared to wear my nice jewelry so i was happy to receive that and then to go with that she also got something pure, from pure vida and it is this wicked cute smiley slash frowny face necklace this can actually move so this is the sad side and then this is the happy side it's so cute and then she got me earrings she said she got the earrings first and she wished she didn't realize it Oh my god, I didn't even see this on Christmas. I'm confused right now. Anyway, but she had grabbed these first, and they're these little black smiley face earrings. And she wears them all the time, so I complimented her. So little did I know she had bought it for me. She said she had wished they had the yellow version to go with my necklace, but that's okay. It doesn't have to match exactly. I will still rock that together. And then, I don't know how I didn't notice this on Christmas Day. You know, there's always a lot going on. I also got a little cute cuff bracelet, and it says, I stand all amazed. That's really cute. So that is everything I got for Christmas that I wanted to show you guys. Let me know what you got this year, uh, whether it was bigger gifts, smaller gifts, gift cards, money. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas. I did. I enjoyed time with my family. I did want to do more. Like me and Joe usually rent a gingerbread house every year. We did watch some Christmas movies, but I didn't get to watch my usual, like The Grinch and Santa Claus and Christmas with the Cranks. I might still do it this week. I'm off from work. You guys know I work at a school. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be done before Christmas. There's just been a lot, you know, transitioning from my old job to my new job. I plan on doing more decorating videos for you guys. I really apologize. I do. I am still going to fill my kitchen because I didn't take down my Christmas decorating yet. Um, so I'm just going to still show my Christmas 
and my hot cocoa bar. But the tree, the ornaments, all that went away this year uh, already the day after Christmas. And that is not like me. But that is the culprit right there. You guys, if you did not watch my vlog of me opening gifts with Joe on Christmas Day, go watch it. I will link it down below. Hopefully I remember when I post this. Within the span of, that video is like 16 minutes long. Within the span of those 16 minutes, this guy knocked the tree down twice. You don't see it in the video because the video is just, it's like, the couch and me and Joe because the tree's in the other room but you hear it you hear the tree crash twice he broke four ornaments this season he broke my tree topper so as much as I love him he definitely made the Christmas season a little harder for me I had the entryway table decorated and then he climbed on top of it was knocking stuff over I was picking it up every day so that's half the reason why I didn't end up showing you guys any of those things and that's why I put away a lot of things the day after Christmas the kitchen's the only room he doesn't really f with so i'm keeping the kitchen off the rest of the week and my porch is still decorated i did film a decorating video that video got over 700 views so thank you guys um i appreciate that i you guys definitely like decorating videos and i definitely want to do some for my channel i'm going to show you the transition after christmas i'll show you kind of how i decorate the house just for the year um and hopefully by next year he settles down a little bit because he won't be a kitten anymore because i do want to buy a new tree because he now the tree doesn't even stand straight it's like crooked and i really do want to go all out with the decorating i'm kind of bummed because last year I only did a tree because we moved in like the week before Christmas and I didn't have time to do all the decorating. And I said this year was going to be the year, but I left that job, started a new job. And with him, it was just, it was too much at once. But I know you guys understand that and I appreciate you guys. If you're watching still, leave a little uh, thumbs up emoji and thumb up the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. I like to know who's here till the end. I appreciate whether you watch, you know, one minute or 30 minutes. It does help the longer you stay on the video though. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can and want to support the channel definitely watch from beginning to end this one's a little longer i did have a lot to show you guys um i just i'm so grateful you know even though there was parts of this year that were a struggle i am grateful to have a roof over my head and animals that i love that can be frustrating sometimes um and a, an amazing family an amazing partner and i love his family they accept me as their own joe's aunt actually was like taylor i noticed such a difference in joe you compliment him so well like you've calmed him down a little bit and I see that all the time. Me and Joe are like yin and yang. Joe can be a little crazy. He can be a little out there. He's extremely social. I'm the opposite. I'm definitely not like an introvert. I'm a social person, but definitely not as much as him. But I'm more like, let's stay home. Let's relax. So let's not do that. That's not safe. Like, that's me. We definitely bounce each other out. He's got me to explore a little bit more. I don't think if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gone to Six Flags this year. I wouldn't have gone to Disney World this year. Because um, that's all stuff that would have scared me, especially being at my size. Uh, you know, being on an airplane not worried about fitting on rides but he pushed me to do all those things and I love and appreciate him for that but I also ground him a little bit because he used to be a little out there and that's kind of perfect with a relationship you don't want to date yourself you want to date someone different from you someone who balances you out so I'm very blessed in that department I'm blessed to have this channel and you guys watching me and supporting me so thank you I hope you had an amazing Christmas be safe guys